Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share about some Amazon lash products that I think would be very helpful to add to your lash stash of sorts. When it comes to DIY lashes, there are three essentials you absolutely cannot do your lashes without, and that is the lashes themselves, a lash glue, and an applicator. Some would argue that a lash applicator is not 100% necessary. Like you could technically use your fingers to apply them, would not recommend that at all. But the three essentials are lashes, lash glue, and the lash applicator. So you have those now let's talk about some things you can slowly add in that i think are very helpful to have and they are all from amazon so very affordable as well i'll leave them down below as well as my amazon storefront where you can shop my lashes list if you were to buy anything off of amazon to help you on your lash journey i would highly 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 recommend this magic primer here it has a pump top and i found it probably over a year ago, maybe two years ago, I can't even remember at this point, but I was on the hunt for an oil-free cleanser because when it comes to DIY lashes, oil is the enemy. So prep is very, very important. Very similar to when you're doing your own nails, you wanna make sure that you are prepping the area, getting rid of any excess dirt and oils. So I was looking for something and I came across this right here. I love the pump top, very convenient. It's made for professional lash extensions, but it works really, really well for lash clusters as well. So Highly, highly recommend it. I think this is like my third bottle and it lasts a very, very long time. The way that I use it is I'll usually take a cotton round, which is another thing that I would recommend. I usually always buy them on Amazon. I know you can get them at like CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, whatever. So buy them wherever you want, but I just usually just like order my stuff on Amazon. It's just easier. So I'll take a cotton round and I'll pump a few tops, pump a few tops, pump a few pumps. I would dispense a few pumps, I don't know, you know, you guys get the gist of it, onto the cotton round. So just do a few pumps onto the cotton round and clean up the eye area that way, that way you're getting rid of excess dirt oils and all the stuff that you don't want when you were starting a new lash set. This is also great if you wanted to clean up your lashes throughout the week. Let's say you're wearing eyeshadow, you know, whatever it is. You can take a Q-tip or a small brush like these. You can find these on Amazon as well. They're little lipstick brushes. And you can wet these in the cleanser right here and get really close to your lash line to get rid of any fallout, eyeshadow, anything like that. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I think it's just such a great product to have and add into your lash stash and it's fairly affordable as well. Will last you a very long time. And I did briefly mention the cotton rounds and the little lipstick sticks right here. Amazon does also have little spoolies like this. They have so many different kinds to choose from, different colors. You have ones that have like glitter ones, things like that. But these are great if I am reusing my lashes. So when you reuse them, you soak them in isopropyl alcohol, let them soak for a little bit to disintegrate that glue, take them out, use a clean brush or a lipstick brush like this, another great use for this right here, and get rid of any of that glue off of the lash cluster and then let it air dry on a paper towel. And then once they're dry, I like to fluff it up with a spoolie like this. So these right here are really great if you do like to reuse your lashes. They're just great for the whole cleaning process. Another product that I use every single time that I do my lashes is this mirror here. It is a compact mirror, it's rechargeable, it has a light, all the light is dead right now I think, yeah. So it has a light that lights up right here. This portion is regular and then the top one is magnified. I think it's 10x, something like that. And when I'm doing my lashes, I like to hold it at chin level here and then look either into this one or this one. Usually I'll look into the magnified one and I'm able to see underneath exactly how close I'm playing the how close I'm placing the cluster to my lash line to make sure I'm not touching the waterline. I'm able to see how I should curve it, all of that stuff. So having a mirror at chin level is really great. If you want the free hand and you don't want to hold a mirror, you can buy other mirrors and have one that kind of swivels so you can swivel it so it swivels flat like this that way you're able to see so there are variations but for me I just kind of hold this one here and then apply my lashes but if you wanted a free hand there are other options out there so this I use literally every single time that I do my lashes and they're very affordable you can find a ton of different kinds on Amazon and they are rechargeable as well next is a silicone lash pad Amazon has so many different kinds they have been using these for professional lash extensions for so actually all of these items here they have been using mainly for professional lash extensions I just kind of incorporated them into my lash stash for my lash journey they just have been really helpful Full. but a silicone lash pad really great I feel like Amazon has really great prices as well you can find pink ones square ones this one I think this might have been the original lash links one so if you're buying 
lashes from like lash lengths or something then you can just put one of these in your cart and you're good to go i think they might have upgraded it but a silicone lash pad is great if you are mapping out your lashes let's say you want to do a cat eye lash map you don't want clusters all over the place you can place them on this lash pad here and it will hold your lash clusters as you're working just makes it very convenient if you're mapping out lashes so do like having this and i use this quite often actually you can also find really great lash removers on amazon lash links does sell their remover oil i believe i think it's a little bit more expensive than on their website this is probably the best one i personally love it. it's very oily it's like almost like pure oil you can also use something like this this one's from flutter set it's a biface formula it's very similar to what new Neutrogena has come out with years back their eye makeup remover the one that's a dual face formula You could buy the Neutrogena one as well very very affordable and it does the job If you're using something like this the way that you use it is you just take a cotton round soak it with that remover Place that cotton round over your eye hold it for about 30 seconds and then slide downward and the clusters should come right off if they're not ready to come off then just repeat the steps until the remover has had time to disintegrate that lash glue um, because again oil is the enemy of lash cluster glues they do not work very well together and this one has a dropper so the way that i use this one is i'll place a few drops on the top you could place a few drops on the cotton round you know personal preference whatever but works really really well and also lasts a very long time so you do have quite a few options when it comes to removers now if you wanted a travel friendly remover i would recommend something like this this one is from Kalalis and it is in a tube it has a little plastic applicator with ridges on it so the way that you use this is you just swipe it on the tops of your lashes until the lash clusters come off and these are really great i like having them because they're very very travel friendly i don't have to take these guys right here this is more than enough they basically took the solution and put it into a nice little travel tube like this so really great to have if you're looking for something to travel with or if you just want to use it at home as well and then last but not least i wanted to cover sealants amazon does have a few sealants Kalalis has one there's this one from flutter set these all have a mini micro mascara wand like this which I'm not too, too crazy about, to be honest, because I love the one from Lashify, for example. I don't have it here with me. The Lashify one has a little ballpoint tip, and that one's really great because you can just rub it along the base of your lashes here. You don't have to swipe it through because the sealants, a lot of them are wax-based. So if you run it through like mascara, they're going to coat your lashes in a weird waxy film, which I don't recommend. So I love having that ballpoint tip. But that kind of concludes the video. Again, I'll leave the links to any of the products down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.